they're all in line. And they're off in the Methuselah. Pretty even start. Firebrook showing speed. D.L. Renzo going right with him from the outside. Down along the inside, that is fortunate by a close-up third as they leave the chute and move on to the main track. Mega G is at fourth, only three lengths off the lead. Then Night Strike Stormy Roman, and the trailer right now is Extreme Missile. He has about eight to make up on Firebrook and Manuel Cruz. Firebrook bidding for his third consecutive win, and he's out in front and moving away as they go to the half-mile mark. He's got it by almost three. D.L. Renzo is a clear second. It's a break of three and a half now when we come to Fortunate by who runs along in third. Rail is open for Stormy Roman as he gets closer from the fourth spot. Then Mega G, Night Strike, and Extreme Missile still has the best view of the field. They're strung out as they make their way into the turn. Firebrook still just cruising right along. Whip is out on D.L. Renzo as he tries to make up some ground, but Firebrook is going well midpoint on the turn, still hand-ridden. It's Firebrook less than a quarter mile out. He's opening up now to lead it by almost four. Firebrook going to be a tough customer as they straighten away. Whip out on D.L. Renzo. Mega G moves up on the grandstand side, then Stormy Roman as they come down past the furlong pole, and it's all Firebrook and Manuel Cruz. Firebrook has a nine-length lead, and he will get his third win in a row and third win in wire-to-wire fashion. Firebrook powering under the line. He might have won it by 10. D.L. Renzo just held the place tight for third, either Stormy Roman or a flying extreme missile.